Hi everyone, oh, welcome to another video. First off, I'm really sorry for the way that I look, but this morning we had toddler stream class and I really don't want to do my makeup because after this I'm going to take a nap and I don't want to smudge my pillow. So we're just going to have a nude face day today. I'm sorry. <laughs> Today's video is going to be my own personal postpartum kit, basically. You know, usually when you think about preparing for postpartum, you think about nursing pads and pain medication and big maxi pads and underwear, or granny penny underwear. But I have found a few items, like six or so, that you won't really think of first time, but it would be really nice to have in the first few weeks. So let's get into it. First off, a tummy tucker, a belly binder, a bell outfit, whatever you want to call it. Basically, a belly girdle. I have the one from the tummy tucker. It has the overlapping Velcro. I had a rental one with Logan. I didn't like the fact that it was rental. That's why I didn't really like it. For some reason, I don't know, I just got it in my head that I shouldn't be wearing it. But I did use it for a few days and I felt so much better when I wore it. Like I think I wore it for like two weeks or so in total. Um, but now I have one I bought, which is amazing. Because I can wear it all the time and I can wash it and I don't have to feel guilty about anything. So. I really recommend that because after you give birth, you have a lot of extra space in your belly because your uterus needs to go down and your organs are still propped up. And this helps to slowly make your organs come back to their original place and not starting to like hang because that can really hurt. Um, the second thing I'm going to be taking is my red raspberry leaf seed capsules. This helps tone your uterus and it also minimizes your bleeding, which both of those things are pretty darn awesome to have in a postpartum period. Um, or time because Logan I had barely had any postpartum contractions and I stopped bleeding after three weeks or so so definitely gonna keep up I need to buy new bottles they're awesome this time around I'm also gonna try the postpartum herb, herb baths bath herbs uh, herb baths they basically contain witch hazel and a few other non-gmo projects fertified herbs salt and oatmeal oh that's interesting so yeah, basically what I plan on doing is I plan on doing a postpartum bath. So I think like on day two or so, after the baby's born, it depends on when the baby's born. I'm just gonna put one of those tea bags into my burden pool with the liner and everything. So basically tea bags. And uh, taking like a nice bath of that, probably put the baby in there as well. Because you know, those kind of herbs are good for baby skin too. And the other ones I'm gonna probably just use, I'm going to soak them and I'm going to use it for, to like fill up my peri bottle and to spray it down with. And the other thing I'm going to put in my peri bottle for like down that area healing is Arnica. I don't know if it, I think it's just called Arnica. I think that's the universal name of it. Drops. Um, these actually are still from when I had Logan. I had a pretty big episiotomy with him and it was pretty well swollen, pretty blue really painful a lot, a lot of stitches and the nurse um postpartum nurse that comes to your house that i'm sure and uh, maybe i both recommended this one and basically what i did i put a few drops in water and i drank that and i put a few drops on that into the peri bottle and i sprayed down and it helps against bruising sometimes when a logan has a bump or something i'll just dab some of the drops on there and just i really felt like it's a homeopathic thing but i really felt like it helped to, you know, like, I don't know, to like get the swelling down to get the bruise away. So definitely something I'm gonna use this time around as well. Then actually like a baby, a little bit of a mommy thing. But what I noticed with Logan is that I started having like really dark circle underneath my eyes and I barely had time to do my regular makeup between like all the checking of the mid uh, the nurse that comes to your home. She checks a lot, she helps you bathe a lot. I had a lot of um, time with her, but not a lot of time for myself. Even though Logan slept a lot, I didn't really have time to do my makeup. So I did buy a concealer, a pretty thick concealer, and a BB cream. I'm usually not a big fan of BB creams. I like to just put on a full face if I'm gonna do it either way. But for the postpartum time, it really sounds nice. Like, you have to just cover up your dark circles and your blotches, which you're gonna have because of the hormones, and then just put a dot of BB cream over it and you're gonna be good to go. You would look, at least look a little bit more presentable than just your bare naked, blotchy, dark circle eyed face you're gonna have after giving birth. 
And then the last thing is I'm pretty sure that basically everyone has um, in their postpartum kit. But in the Netherlands, you don't get it prescribed from your doctor or your midwife. And it is a natural herb that works like saving, basically. <laughs> Trust me, it's no fun. That first poo after you had your baby, it is terrifying. Especially if you had a very big episiotomy and <laughs> everything down there hurts. I gave birth two minutes after midnight and at 8 p.m. that same day, I had my first bowel movement and it was the most scariest thing of my life, like seriously. <laughs> I actually had guests in the living room and I was going to the bathroom downstairs. Because I wasn't feeling so I was like, oh, I'm just gonna go pee and we'll see. And I realized once I was on the toilet that I was gonna go number two. And I literally put my feet against the wall and my hands like that. <laughs> like, oh my god, oh my god, what's gonna happen? I tried to breathe through it. Um, but this really is a natural verb, it just makes you don't get like backed up or you know, you it just makes your it's like a stool softener basically. Because none of the midwives or doctors will prescribe that one for you once you are postpartum. So just have those in case I need them. And that's basically it for my own personal postpartum kit. They're just like little things that you don't really necessarily think about having in the house before going into labor, but now I do. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have anything that you think I should have for my postpartum kit, leave that in the comments down below. Thumbs up this video if you liked it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.